we all know that driving isn't just about getting from A to B. It is a, a symbol of our capacity to, to do anything and, and of our independence. And so I know that you are all entangled in the emotion that goes along with driving assessment. And uh, this is going to be both, I'm sure, around uh, information around the practical aspects as well as um, the other kinds of aspects that go along with, uh, with driver assessment. One particular discipline that I am completely in awe of in terms of driving assessment is occupational therapy, and it's not just because I'm the Chief Allied Health Officer. They have to be objectives, they can't play favourites, they can't say, oh, you're a nice chap, which is fantastic. They must uh, be objective about what they're doing and know that there are assessments which will say yay or nay. They have to be empathic because of all of that, all of that stuff that um, happens when someone loses their independence, they have to break that to them and they have to be incredibly resilient. It's really been brought to my attention over the last little while in particular, the number of people that, um, that OTs have to actually break the kind of news to that you're not going to be driving anymore and families, the anger um, and all the other things. So we have to be very, very um, careful of our, our occupational therapy people. And I know that of course that, that covers all of the disciplines, but those guys I'm particularly in awe of. I'm not going to speak to you for any length of time at all, just really to say that and to say welcome.